This video is to kick off the Large Language Model Virtual Hackathon for applications in materials and chemistry. Thank you especially to the organizers and our special acknowledgments here below. So what is happening? You may have noticed uh, over the last few weeks and months, there have been a number of large language models released, including GPT-4, ChatGPT, BARD, LLAMA, FLAN, Bloom, Galactica, and many more. What we're seeing uh, on social media here, uh, many from Twitter, uh, we're seeing many different applications to, of these large language models to software development, marketing, uh, legal, robotics, and basically anything you could imagine. Um, and really, that's all kind of springing forth from this, this new, uh, this new uh, paradigm of large language models. And what we believe is that we, we need to leverage this capability to really massively accelerate our ability to discover and deploy new materials, chemical processes, drugs, and more. And we, we, we have this impetus because we really need these solutions to solve our uh, technological health and social challenges. And right now, uh, it takes decades to discover new materials and then use them in applications. Uh, and it also you know, takes uh, billions of dollars to uh, discover new drugs, and that's just not really tenable. So you know, we want to look for, for new solutions to materials and, and chemistry discovery using large language models. And that's where you all come in. So here we have the goals of the hackathon. You know, we want to connect people across the spectrum here. We want to provide hands-on learning experiences to, to folks. And we want to build long-term community eventually. Uh, and really, the, the focus of today uh, and the hackathon in general is to build some cool things that promise to deliver impact. What are the classes of some of the submissions we might be looking for? So uh, these are just a few of the things we could imagine. You know, you could design web or mobile apps, command line tools. You could fine tune large language models for specific use cases. You might develop software packages. Uh, you might create a new data set or aggregate data from, from elsewhere. And really what the goal is, is to convince us of the opportunity for impact here. Uh, so, you know, given that this is a, a sort of a one day event, we are totally open to prototypes and proofs of concept. That's totally fine. Uh, we encourage you to share your, uh, your outcomes at the end of, of the hackathon. And so a few notes on the submission process. So we really want uh, many of these uh, projects to be seen across, across the community. So you know, we, we're asking people to submit a video presentation. That could be slides. It could be demos. Basically, you can use that two minutes however you'd like uh, to summarize your team's project, highlight its applications in material science and chemistry, and really showcase the innovative uh, use of the large language models. And then we're asking you to post uh, a video to at least one of the following social media platforms, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, and ensure that your video is public and easily accessible to the, the judges. Um, and then to ensure that we, we know of that submission, please log into the Slack. Uh, the details are in the Eventbrite, which I'll, will be in the description of, of this video. Uh, log into Slack and in submissions, uh, post the link to your submission. Uh, this is important here. The submissions must be received no later than March 30th at 9 a.m. Central Time, uh, that's Central US time. And you can find some additional submission details, judging criteria and deadlines uh, on the Miro and Slack. So we're gonna to open uh, today's uh, hackathon by hearing from some people who are doing just really amazing things in, in the field of material science and chemistry with large language models. Uh, so we're gonna hear from Kevin Jablanca first, uh, and then we'll hear from Andrew White and Chris DeLago. Uh, so I think uh, you'll all be very interested to hear what they have been working on, and you, hopefully you can draw some inspiration from this session as well. After that session, we will uh, have a teaming session. So we'll have teaming uh, asynchronously via Slack and Miro. You can sign in and do that at any time. Uh, pitch your concept in the teaming channel or on the Miro board. Connect with the person pitching in Slack or Miro if you're, if you're interested. KJ Schmidt here, shown on the right, will be leading this session. Uh, and in the teaming session, we'll have one minute pitches from the teams. You can sign up to pitch a slide or Slack on Slack uh, and people can uh, then express interest via Slack or Miro. So I will kick it back to here, and we will start with the learning and inspiration session uh, from Kevin and Andrew and Chris. Uh, 